Is mayonnaise an instrument? Hey, it's Jabbo. I was prepared to be upset at the beginning of this video, but I want to thank the Lego Porg. Shout out to you, Lego Porg, because uh, I did a, a, a post, a community post, because I was just, I got a little frustrated uh, because I had uh, uh, a lot more of the first and great video comments than normal within like 30 seconds of me posting a video, and it just kind of annoyed me. But he found a video I made a while back when this stuff was really prevalent on YouTube. Uh, it's a video. The title of the video is literally, I copied a comment that somebody left repeatedly on every video I would post. And so I just copied that. That is the title of the video. I think it's called Great Video Liked and Subscribed. Actually, let me go look at it here. Um... It Lego port, yes. Awesome video, liked. That's the title of the video, but it's got a bunch of emojis and or stars and dots in it and stuff. Not emojis, but yeah. And um, that's you, you'll get a. What year was that video made? I'm gonna open it up here. I just want to see what year it was. Yeah, so it kind of made my day to see somebody comment on that video uh, now. Uh, so thank you, the Lego Pork, uh, for commenting on the video. Awesome video, liked and subscribe. <laughs> oh, awesome video liked. That's the name of the video. So, when was that posted? July 6, 2016. Almost, almost four years ago. Awesome. So, and things have not changed. People, oh, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so, I got a comment today on a brick link, and I'm going to talk about it, and then I'm going to answer one or two questions, and then we're going to pick an order. So, if you're new to the channel, I don't know what the title of this video is yet, so I don't know how people get to these videos, but I'm, my name's Jabbo, the channel is Brickzar, I have a Bricklink store called Brickzar, and I've been doing a lot of videos lately where people will place an order, I'll pick the order for them, and I'll do a video about it, and we'll guess what they're building and stuff, and I'm trying to get away from that as much as I can, <laughs> but I do thank everybody for supporting uh, us, and uh, we've... I said this in a video I just filmed that's already uploaded. I don't, uh, this video will be posted after that one. But I get so many orders that I do at times consider closing the store. So that's a good problem to have. when Because I, I, I never want people to be waiting for their orders. And even though I put a disclaimer because of COVID and all this, that there could be delays in your order, in which there could be shipping delays no matter what I do. But I've still... We get an order, it's out the next business day that the post office ships, almost always. Uh, there's rare exceptions that it would go more than one day. And usually the exception is because somebody wants a Pablo, a pick and a brick link like order. <laughs> but I got this uh, question. Boy, I meant to start this video with the question, and I, I don't even know how long I'm into it. And I've already uh, talked about a lot of other things. But So this was the mess. Actually, there's a message. With, and, you know, it is a question. He says, list for Lego pieces. And I'll, I want you to see if you can guess what my reply was and what else I did. All right, so I'm going to read the question. It's not necessarily rude or mean-spirited question or anything like that, but I am snarky czar. All right, so uh, he says, Hello, I was wondering if I could just send you a list of Lego pieces I need. I am trying to make them, or I'm trying to get them cheap. It's C-H-E-A-M. I think he meant cheap. And I don't really know how BrickLink works. So I hope you could help me. Have a nice day. <laughs> so he wants to just, instead of using the, the website that is set up for you to order pieces. And you order your own pieces and figure out what you want. And then you submit an order. Instead of doing that, he wants to just send me a list. Because he doesn't know how BrickLink works. And he wants me to look at that list and just get him his pieces. <laughs> Alright, I ask you this. So, if Sam Walton was still alive, <laughs> say, you know, I need some stuff at Walmart. But I'm just going to email Sam and see if he'll just pick them up for me. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if they'll have them. I'm just going to send him a, a random list of stuff. And uh, uh, yeah, so you pretty much probably guess what I responded. I was gonna, I literally was gonna make my response two letters, 
uh, but I did say not at all. And please do not ask anyone else. Thank you. That's, that was my reply. And you know what the next step was? Do you know? Do you know? Can you guess? Can you guess what the next step was? Clicked, on, clicked his username, copied it, went to the blocked user list. Yes, I did block him. Am I, am I out of line? Am I crazy? No, and I'll tell you why. You know, maybe other people would be like, oh, that's a potential future buyer. And I do like to keep a good rapport with people that buy from me or people that want to buy from me. But I'd also, I also try to keep away the people that cause problems. That's why I am one of the, I think I'm one of the few, there might be more, but I like brick link being a little bit hard because it keeps up, it keeps away the people that aren't passionate about it and they'll just, oh, this is too hard to figure out. I'm not going to do it. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> so let's get to a, uh, another couple of questions and then we'll pick this uh, brick link order, which is for Lego My Ego. I think that's who it was for. I had one other, one or two other questions. Oh, I'm on the wrong video. I'm looking at back questions from three years ago. Let's see what people were talking about. Which Lego set was the best one you've built this year? That was asked three years ago, and I don't think I ever answered it. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I am terrible. All right, so the question that we are going to answer is from Mayo Hosco. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I like it when you change. You may, he created a channel. That was the title of his channel. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> I like Patrick. Um, so he says, why have the Monty Python references dried up? What was that thing that cost nine ninety five? Oh, and this is a, this is literally on a castle review and. As I was reading the question just now, I was going to say, because I haven't done as much with Lego Castle, <laughs> and then I looked and it was from a castle. I think I think most of uh, my Monty Python uh, references are limited to the Black Knight, <laughs> just a flesh wound, and the, uh, the French taunting knight, you know, I fart in your general direction, that type of stuff, you know, and I don't even do it that well. Um... Or I'm still alive. I'm not dead yet. I, mean, I haven't watched in so long. So it's like now I'm quoting these quotes incorrectly. <laughs> but there's other Monty Python references I could do. I guess that aren't castle related. You know, the Holy Grail. But it's such a good movie. <laughs> in fact, one of the earliest Lego stop motion is a Monty Python reference. <laughs> so uh, I guess I need to watch more Monty Python. But... Uh, Thank you, Mayo. I do, and believe it or not, I mean, most of you know this, I do make a lot of references in my video. It's, it's not always intentional. It's a, I want to say bad habit, but uh, there are tons. In fact, the one video I did, uh, the Star Wars one, which I was, I was very proud of the video. <laughs> the Star Wars hall where, uh, you know, I opened the air bubbles and stuff. There are... I have to go back and watch. There are so many subtle references, and that was all done on the on the fly. I didn't script it. I didn't plan it. They just come out. <laughs> and you know, there's like Jurassic Park. I, I I don't know. I had to go back and watch the video. There's a bunch of them. And so, uh, growing up, I would always we'd always talk about Seinfeld. Like when I was working, when I was in my early twenties, we talk we talk about all the Seinfeld references. Then I learned, when I learned Spongebob, it's like, oh my goodness, there's so many references with that. And then, there's, a, I got a lot. I got a lot. And I'm sorry. Rectangles. All right. That was not a Monty Python reference. All right. So, uh, this is from Tarkor, Channel of Random Things. He says, so he was talking to a friend about whether or not UCS or similar size sets, so the big sets, should have prints instead of stickers. I have argued that the manufacturing of those printed elements, especially if it's a new mold, would be too costly for Lego. They argue that the price wouldn't change that much. So I'm wondering what's your opinion. Do you think they should do prints? Or can you see the benefits of having stickers, not only for production, but for consumer as well? You know, 
it depends on what the sticker is for. I do wish, like with the X-Wing fighters, that those canopy pieces were printed because those stickers were hard. And then sometimes the stickers really need to go over an assembly. I don't think LEGO does that as much as they used to in the day, though, where they, you have a sticker that covers multiple pieces. I really hate that practice. But I, I, I think, yeah, I think they should do the same thing they do with idea sets with UCS sets. I think all the UCS sets should be like the idea sets and there's not really stickers. But an exception I would think with the UCS sets that I'm still completely fine with is like the plaque piece. That being a sticker. I mean, yeah, they could print that, but I'm okay with that being a sticker. Uh, but I've never really, I don't think anybody's ever asked that. You know, I've had, People do the whole sticker discussion. It's a love-hate relationship. There's, I mean, it's like my brick model railroader stuff. I love the finished product. I love when you get those boxcars built and you got the, the, the labeling on it. They look so realistic. Looks great. They would not look the same without stickers. Uh, I still, even, those, those decals, though, they're, they're a little better i think than even what lego makes i forget the guy that makes them he can comment i don't think he watches my videos i see him on reddit i forgot his name but he the guy that makes the stickers for a uh, brick model railroader very good job they're vinyl stickers so uh, yeah i think i think they should make printed pieces for the bigger elements or the the harder things to put stickers on all right i got sidetracked there but uh, that's all we're going to answer uh, as far as bricks are answer thingy questions and I'm going to get to go and pick this order for Lego My Ego. Let me make sure that's the right guy. Lego My Ego. Lego My Ego, yes. Oh, and he's got a, he's got a set in his order. So that's going to be different. So I forgot my iPad. So again, I'm going to have to pick this from the computer. Two of those. Cheese. It's white cheese. It's like you would put on Mexican food or something. I like the white cheese. What do they call that? Um, quesadilla. It hadn't been to... No, not quesadilla. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I'm getting old. Queso. Is it queso? Is that what they call it? So, I think I'm going to be in the old folks' home soon. Um, a couple of videos back, I couldn't remember who Bob Ross is. And now... I can't remember what the white cheese... Is it just cheese dip? Do you just call it cheese dip? I, I don't know. Tell me. He's got some tires. I know those are tires. So I was watching uh, one of my fellow YouTubers, uh, Joey, uh, Brick Trains. He did a haul unboxing of the Legoland sets and that he got from... Because you can buy stuff online from some of the Lego stores around the world since they're closed. The Legoland stores, I mean. Like the um, so the Legoland Florida Resort had some stuff. And they still do. I actually went, after I watched his video, I went and looked. And they still have stuff on there. They didn't have what he bought. Or some of what he bought. So anyway, I never looked at the website because right before all that opened up where they were selling stuff... I had actually bought all the sets on eBay because I was like, I want to get these sets. I'm never going to get them. I went to my Discovery Center and they didn't have them. So I decided to go and just get them on eBay. So I got, and I actually got some of them decent prices with shipping. Oh, but then, yeah, it's like a few weeks later, you could buy them online. <laughs> I was like, dang it. Um, so when I did go buy another of the uh, the big lego land set because they were only 65 dollars so i was like i definitely got to get another one of those but so i never went and checked the lego land florida site i ended up buying mine from lego land california actually i should check that one because brick train's got some pretty cool stuff from um lego land resort in florida it is a, they had a shark battle pack and um yeah, it was gone when I went the shark battle pack. I would have that was the one that was really cool. <laughs> Had all the different shark shark guy related stuff. So yeah, check out Brick Trains. He's a, a fool like me. 
And we're doing pretty good here with uh, his order, just moving right along. It's only 19 lots, so that you know this one's not going to be too bad in order. We'll just put all these white pieces together there. We're segregating. We're going to get taken down. You know, segregation is wrong, except when you're um, doing parts. It's okay to group things by the like kind and stuff like that. But with people, that's mean and that's rude. Don't do that. 4528. 4528. And I never could understand that as a kid. I, th I think those types of things, those bad qualities in people, I think sometimes they're learned. Um, because as kids, you don't think like that. You just, you know, you got your friends, you play with people. Uh, it's your parents that sometimes teach you bad things. My parents taught me good things. I hope your parents taught you good things. <laughs> But be good to people. And yes, I am a little snarky at times. <laughs> but people can do things that are rude, no matter who they are. But treat people with kindness. Oh, how did I get... I don't know how I got off into that. I'm sorry. This is... <laughs> oh, man. I have some stories I could tell. It might not be appropriate for a Lego channel. Oh, that lid got stuck. Um, uh, things in my life where people think that you think that things are okay. And I'm like, nope, this is not okay. <laughs> and yes, I will call you out on it. It's okay to call out people who are stupid. Um, I've seen some things on, uh, uh, some reason with all the stuff that happened recently with COPPA, which nobody's talking about anymore. But I somehow I ended up started following some lawyers, some YouTube lawyers. Well, they're not lawyers for YouTube. They're lawyers that have YouTube channels. And um, it's funny. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. He got a... I got to go back and rewatch. What was I just talking about? Uh, I probably needed to change the subject anyway. This, this video has become a dumpster fire. Like I'm trying to think of what I was thinking about. But I know I was thinking about when people think that you're okay. Oh, I know what it was. All right. So um, people that do mean things to other people uh, on YouTube and people call them out on it. Um, looks like if you, the example I can give you is, is if somebody does a take a takedown on your video because they didn't like what you said about them, even if it's factually correct, um, <laughs> saying that it's harassment and bullying. Uh, harassment and bullying is, yes, that can sometimes come from a place of complaint, but if somebody's doing something bad, you're not being a bully and you're not harassing if you call them out. Yes, you do need to be factually correct, Sometimes it's very good also not to be mean-spirited in how you deliver <laughs> that. Uh, but calling somebody out on something they've done that's wrong is okay. Uh, and I've done it with some of my videos. I got videos, and they're, they're still up, where I hope that it came across as a respectful way. There may be some where it wasn't respectful. I know there was a situation where... There's been a couple of situations where people um, complained about things that Lego did, and I was like, "No, that's it's mis it was misrepresented. The, the news story that you saw, or the conclusion that you drew from what you saw, uh, lacked some very key information that affected your view of it." Uh, an example was uh, the picture of all the Lego pieces in the dumpster. <laughs> And they're like, hey, you can give that to kids. This is wrong. This is bad. I'm like, do you want to give the kids like a set or sets or just your leftover scraps from things that got busted up? No, you, you want to give them a finished product, not the scraps. They recycle things. It's cheaper to recycle sometimes. <laughs> I don't even know how I got off on that tangent. And another one was somebody got upset because the Lego 
Land Discovery Center, which I guess that ties in with, you know, brick trains, buying stuff from the resort, because there's also, you could buy these things probably from the Legoland Discovery Centers, but they wouldn't let an adult in, and this adult coincidentally had a disability. And they made the the story was presented, oh, this, they wouldn't let this guy in with a disability. No, they wouldn't let the guy in because of his age. Because <laughs> it's a place for kids. I said, if it was Chuck E. Cheese, you wouldn't have a problem with it. I would, as a parent, have a problem with an adult wanting to go in to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> so it's the same with the Legoland Discovery Center. There is nothing... Well, I guess there are things in there that an adult would like, but you're not adults not going to Legoland Discovery Center to ride the rides. He might want to see the display or something like that, but not to ride the rides and hang out with the kids. Anyway, I got this. This thing went like off in a totally different tangent than I expected. So thank you, um, Lego my ego. I'm Brickzar, <laughs> and I can't say I've never been in a dumpster. And that's that's true. I cannot say that. I cannot say that I've never been. I, I mean, I just said it, but I have been in a dumpster. So I can't say I've never been in a dumpster when I have been in a dumpster. More than once. More than twice. More than you can count. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not diminishing your ability to count. Don't take me wrong. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember how many times. And I don't know why I'm telling you that. But anyway, thank you, Lego My Ego, for the order. Thank you for watching this video. Be excellent to each other. I I just... Be... Yeah, Bill and Ted were right, man. Er... Cubes to... Hey!